Next, uh, we have Fred Simpson, who is a uh, poet, a songwriter, and a percussionist. He actually performs with my wife's uh, Gemini Journey, Terry Batch, Diane Block, cello and violin, and Fred does the percussion with them. And he's also a wonderful poet. I think he's backstage, actually, because he does perform occasionally with percussion, and he might be doing that. He might make a very... Look at this. Okay, so uh, now let's hear a warm welcome for Fred Simpson. This is his first performance here. With, uh, Thank you. spiritual uh, messages and, and uh, religion and I feel like I might be alone tonight with blatant politics uh, the, the, the saving grace is that after I wrote a lot of this I realized that the reception of, of the words themselves they can be received by both sides of what people call our divided country. So it's just an irony here with a lot of these things. I defer to what must be euphoria among many Trump voters. There is a certain magic of the only in America kind when an electoral system enables a man without a law degree without having served a single day in any elected or appointed federal, state, or local political office to become the President of the United States. And de facto, military and economic leader of the Western world. But in the global arena of hungry nationalistic players with long-standing traditions of skilled diplomacy and guile, Mr. Chief Executive, your leadership must be earned. America is not a corporation nor a limited liability company. It is a country. Tweet, tweet, tweet. A little birdie didn't have to tell me. You have an itchy Twitter finger and you can't help yourself. Makes me nervous internationally and embarrassed domestically. The president running full steam downfield, tweeting and dashing off executive orders while cradling the nuclear football. Godspeed. Sing a song of sweat-soaked blue collars and eyes that weep for closed factories. But citizens, beware whom you vote for, like a billionaire hustler with all the answers. A billionaire hustler as panacea, a billionaire hustler <coughs> Who's gonna fix it all? In the valley Naugatuck, quiet as is kept, there are deep eddies of red in the blue sea of Connecticut. <laughs> Hillary Clinton carried the state, but the valley went to Trump. Two voters to her one. Beware the crocodile smiles of some. <laughs> <laughs> 
Embrace the goodwill of others. In the valley Naugatuck, quiet as is kept, the bumpers of some pickup trucks and cars display the Southern Cross. Confederate flags fly high on a block just off Route 8, backed up by a sign that says, if you can read this, you're in range. All true. All true. Yeah. Mr. Chief Executive, a little genuine compassion, kindness. What is the name of my religion? Kindness. Kindness to my fellow man Sets me up just like a pigeon At times, yes But my spirit always wins When I do what I know is right It makes me feel so good inside Kindness I'm talking about kindness Just a little Kindness. Try it sometime. <laughs> Be kind. Yeah, Old bag lady talking crazy. <laughs> it could just be loneliness. I'll say hello to her and maybe she and I just might connect. But when I do what I know is right. It makes me feel so good inside Kindness I'm talking about kindness Just a little kindness Try it sometime Be kind Kindness oh so inconvenient it makes you late, dirties your hands. I had to ask myself the question, why am I kind again and again? Cause I can live with myself that way. And I don't really care what people think or say about my kindness. It comes back to you kindness when you least expect it to kindness I give it from my heart kindness I try to do my part and when I do what I know is right it makes me feel so good inside kindness I'm talking about kindness just a little kindness Try it sometime. To leave politics and kindness, this is Black History Month. Yes. This is called Reflections. When you look in the mirror, whom do you see? Someone with backbone and strong as an oak tree. One who has experienced an epiphany that no man is the devil, but the devil's often found in the deed. When you look in the mirror, do you see someone aware no race or religion should be made victim? One who fathoms prejudice and poverty are American problems. Does your mirror reflect the need to take any means necessary to fulfill the Founding Fathers' freedom texts? When you look in that mirror, any sign of Malcolm Little, Detroit Red, El Haj Malik, El Shabazz, Malcolm X? When you look in the mirror, whom else do you see? 
Someone who vowed to fight for his dream by strictly peaceful means. One who said, judge not pigmentation, but what's inside a person. One who reached the mountaintop when his life was snuffed. Not willing to stop until freedom's bell rings for all, making us want to scream, want to sing. When you look in that mirror, is there the faintest outline of the junior Reverend Martin Luther King? Another Sunrise Poems to the Sun. It's 24 poems to, uh, addressed directly to the sun. It's available on Amazon. I, I have two copies. Very reasonably priced. Uh, I did. So th this is um, one of the poems addressed to the sun. It's called Staying Power. And this is an attempt to end on a bright note. <laughs> After all, it's addressed to the sun. Eyes closed, lids are photographic plates, playing back a stark fragment of you, exposed through the clouds. Your rays, soft music hurried off stage, take shape, crescendo to just shy of red. Your rays, harbingers of you, burst through cotton. Gather strength, set fire to horizon. Tips of flames tinged bluish green, dark, dance like serpents' tongues. I gaze to confirm this animated conflagration is no mirage. One, two, three, you're high above a low slung bank of clouds, headed west to pass the torch. Electric New York night awaits. Day out, day out, you set beyond the palisades. Burn and never rest. Thanks to you, tomorrow will be another day. Thank you.